guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, we're going over old school, hey, what happens when you see cool and you buy cool. I got lots of books, I've got some good movies and VHS um, items, I've got uh, some Atari, vintage Atari things I've found that are awesome, and even some uh, NASA Skylab things that I found at a thrift store just in a random cabinet. So, uh, these are good things for you to, it's good to be on the lookout for, to train your eye and uh, see what's working in my store to maybe to help you what to be on the lookout for to be you know that'll work in your store so hey I appreciate the view and uh, I look forward to your comments and you know as always subscribe and uh, we'll keep doing this see what happens so with that let's let's jump right in so we'll do a lot of books first and I've been really busy the last two or three weeks but I've had the opportunity to hit a few thrift stores one estate sale and you know they've, they've all been really productive which is cool I don't know you know it's the season people are you know, still cleaning stuff out, whatever. It's it's cool when you're trying to find things, right? That 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 you have success on finding stuff that you can resell. So some of these first items are, they're not only items that are good for you to be on the lookout for, but also kind of this the genres that, that work for me. And when I see these, I, I jump on them all the time. And the first one, it's this music book. It's the Sacred Heart. The original one was published like in the 1800s. And you know, it's got, you know, it's got a lot of, you know, music, worship music. I haven't sold this particular one before. I've sold two or three of these in the past. I have sold comps on this edition for 50 bucks. Uh, this is kind of a deluxe edition. I've, I've, these will sell 30 to $40. So if you've got a thrift store that's got a, you know, a, uh, a, a big religious section, inspirational section, that's usually where I find these. And th they'll jump out at you, but you'll see, you know, you'll see something on the edge, Sacred Heart. They're always called Sacred Heart. They're always 30 to 50 bucks. Great finds, and like I said, I've sold them before. This is a $50, this is a $50 sold comp. Another thing that um, I've had, I've sold different ones of these before, and I found this one, uh, I actually paid two bucks for this one, but this music for ear training. So some of this um, music um, sight training, ear training, this is a fourth edition. I have a sold comp on this one for 20 and 25 uh, for this ear training. I paid a buck 50 for this one. I've sold these in the past, and what you have to be careful of is look at the edition, because some of the some of the older editions will still bring money, but they might bring you know eight or ten bucks. Where the newer editions of the same thing, it, it, that's true on a lot of books, right? It's but but be on the lookout for this music training for the ear and sight reading. Good good finds. Okay, here's um, here's one I don't have a sold comp on. This transition to gliders. Anytime I see something, anything on gliding, soaring, uh, it's another topic, you know, where they would pull, they pull the um, unpowered craft behind another craft and then, and then let it go and they catch the thermals. So sometimes that's called soaring. Uh, I don't have sold comps for this. Paid a dollar fifty for it. Again, most of the hardbacks I've got were like a dollar fifty. Most of the paperbacks were a buck. So a few exceptions I'll point out. But anytime I see something on gliding and soaring, I generally just get it if it's at the right price in that dollar dollar fifty range. No sold comps on this, but I have list comps for eighty to ninety five on this. So that's probably overpriced, but I think I can still get thirty, forty, maybe even fifty bucks for this one. So nice find there. Um, here's one, the best of Jack O'Connor. What was cool about this one is I have I have this one thrift store I go to and they have this whole section of fiction which I very rarely find something in. This is a nonfiction that was stuck over on top of the fiction and it um, this is a twenty to twenty five dollar again kind of subject matter and, you know some people may not like it but it's big game hunting right this is older older stories and you can see them with all of his trophy stuff but for book resale big game hunting, safari hunting type things. It's a genre that you can look out for and, and make good good profit on. Okay, um, The Princess Bride. Different editions of this. I paid $2 for this one. I have a one sold comp for this for 10. I think that was probably a low. This is like this deluxe commemorative edition. There's some of the, um, the earlier, um, you know, hardbacks with, um, you know, a nice dust jacket. That, that can bring 20 to 25, but whenever I see nice hardbacks of The Princess Bride, they're usually pretty good sales. I'll get at least get 10, hopefully more like 15 or 18 for this one. It's got, and, and I always look for the illustrator. Sometimes when you're trying to, to find this one, 
you do the Princess Bride and then on the illustrator, put in the illustrator's name and that'll show you some difference sometimes. So good one there. Okay. Now these, these were kind of some interesting, uh, paid a dollar fifty for this one. I have a um, no sold comps. It's there. I was. It's a sea stories from the 1965 naval class. This is going to be a thin market. I see this is like a fifteen dollar book. But so I'll put it out. It's kind of cool, but it, it might take a minute to sell. Um, another here's another aircraft tiger moth. Um, I've no sold comps on this one either. But subject matter, I paid a dollar fifty for it. I see it listed in that. 12 15 to 25 dollar range so i think you know 14.99 got a dollar 50 in it all right here's here's one it's an artist this uh john kolik and what's interesting this one has a gift inscription from the author he's signed it and you can see he signed it there i have a, a sold comp on this one for 15. this one was there with it as well no sold comps on this one but i can think i can put these together with the gift inscription, I think I can get uh, 25 or 30 bucks. I got $3 in them. It's kind of cool. They were right there together, so I just decided to get both. Uh, here's one, another one. No sold comps, but from a history perspective, this Lyon County, Kentucky veterans, and what's cool is it, um, World War II veterans, it has all these the people. So from a genealogy resource, whenever I, I list something like this uh, in the title, I'll always put, you know, it's Kentucky, but I always put try to put the word genealogy so that, you know, if somebody's doing that family research or historical research, maybe that's a key word for them, but no sold comps, but this is something that I think, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say it's in the 20 to 25 range is what I'll start it with. Again, a buck 50 in it, it's not bad. Then had a couple of, um, this one's kind of cool. I've got sold comps of 15 and 20 on this uh, fl uh, fleet submarines in the US Navy, it's designed. Really cool. Um, again, buck fifty. And I've got a sold comp of fifteen and a sold comp of twenty. Let's see, yeah, fifteen and twenty on this one. Let me see what, see what cheat sheet. Yeah, fifteen and twenty. Then um, this one was right there with it, so you could tell that somebody liked submarines. That was their thing, and it was probably the same person that donated this. Again, a dollar fifty for me. I have a sold comp for forty bucks on this one. So the submarines of the Imperial Japanese Navy. Nice. Um, Here's one that I have no comps on, but it's funny when you look up, it's a, this, the junction Elba, this is Gretna, Virginia. I like having this stuff in my store. Um, again, I, all these hardbacks, buck 50 for me, no sold comps. I found this on Amazon, but it's out of print, uh, none available. So this is something that, you know, with, even though you don't have sold comps on or list comps for that matter, because even Amazon says it's out of print and doesn't have it. I might list it for 40 bucks. If somebody's from the area, they need it for genealogy, you know, they might do a best offer, but I think in that 40, 40 buck range is, is reasonable for this. So um, I like I like finding this stuff. Even if I can't find sold comps for it, I'll still go for stuff like this. Now here's one that um, I have a sold comp of like 10 bucks. Um, this uh, 50 years of flight um, aviation industry from 1903 to 1953. I just thought the graphics on it were cool. It's not a, you know, it's not a big dollar, big dollar book, but it has all this history by the year. And then it, it actually had a, a little insert from 1951. So I think that, you know, even if I only get 10 bucks for it, it shows, you know, sometimes for me, I mean, obviously I want, I'd love to find this cool thing and it'd be worth like a hundred bucks, but sometimes you find it, it's cool. I like to put it in my store. If I sell it for 10 bucks, I make eight or 10 off of it nine seven whatever it's not the biggest thing I, I like mixing it up if i like it you know um and then here's another one this uh, trophies um again in the hunting genre might have been the same guy that had the other one right um this is um no no sold comps on this one either but have list comps of like 30. i might list it for 20 or 25 just you know see if i can get any any nibbles on it but it's good and then uh, I have this ultimate guide to Alabama fishing. Paid a dollar for this one. This will be a good, solid, great condition. This will be a solid twenty dollar, twenty dollar book. Um, yeah, so we'll start. This was kind of a uh, paid fifty cents for this one, and I, I have some success on these too when I find them at the right price. 
these car user manuals. And I think it's sometimes somebody really needs it. Sometimes it's people maybe they're reselling the car and they're trying to get the manuals together, but uh, I've had success on these. And if you, especially if you're getting them for like the 50 cents to a dollar, but this Chrysler 200, it's a user manual, just like what would go in your, you know, in your car and your dash. So even, you know, I think even a, it'll, it's at least a ten, $10 item, maybe, maybe more. I found some of these like from old stuff, like, you know, from really cool cars like in the 60s and those obviously will bring more but even something like this from a, from a 2016 uh, 10 bucks for 50 cents is not bad then um, kind of in the fiction front here's the Star Trek destiny I have sold comps these were um, actually um, I got these three for a dollar and uh, I have sold comps on this one uh, for 21 so 21 95 I think so great finds some of these Star Trek next generation kind of unique series are great uh, here's another Star Trek I got this one for bucks so it was a hardback but it's a Peter David you know he was kind of big in the Marvel Universe I think he wrote a lot of the Hulk stuff at one one point you know pr prolific author and a lot of stuff but the Star Trek New Frontier uh, it's kind of cool it had a it had a gatefold um, if I can show it here without messing it up it had this gatefold of the crew, you know, poster of the crew, thought that was intact. And it chronicles the first four stories. I have sold comps of like 20, 21 on this one, paid a buck for it. That's nice. And then <laughs> here's, here's just a couple of uh, weird, weird ones. Here's kind of a classic uh, book on war. I can't pronounce this, uh, Carl von uh, Klosweitz. Um, this exact edition, I've had um, sold comps for thirty bucks, paid paid a dollar fifty for it. Then, complete book of frisbee. So, pick this up for a dollar. I had lots of unsold comps all over the place. I have a sold comp of five bucks, so this one may just be uh, it's interesting, but it, it may not really be that much. But kind of cool. And a couple more books, and then we'll get through to some some of the weird stuff, right? Uh, this Robert Hastings. Here's a penny's worth of minced meat, and then a slipcover edition of his uh, nickel's worth of skim milk. Talking about his growing up in the Depression era in the 30s, so uh, I paid, I say a dollar, a dollar fifty for these. They're not big money, but I think both of these together, especially the slipcase, I've got a, a sold comp on this one for like 18, so I don't know, 15, 18, 20 bucks. Hopefully that'll that'll work out. Then here's one, Five Fur Traders. It's a 1960s book on fur trapping trading, which is also another good general topic. I've got a soul comp of this on 10. This is first edition. It may bring a little more. So, And then look at this kind of bizarre book. Um, <laughs> this is the Chattooga. And you know what the Chattooga is famous for? It's about you know the, the river in the movie Deliverance, or in the book, I think uh, Jerome Dickey book Deliverance, you know, in the Burt Reynolds movie. Um, this is about that river. So uh, I've got a soul comp on this one for 10 bucks. So uh, this is kind of a bizarre one, right? All right, so then I'll transitioning into some non-book items that were weird. Um, I guess first thing that was weird I bought was for 50 cents. I got this 1981, you still see it's like 59 cents. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981 VHS. <laughs> These things, I mean, this is not sealed or anything. I see these things selling for five, 10, even 20 bucks for a uh, unsealed 1981 copy of Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I got it, I'm gonna see what happens. Then also on the VHS front, here's a, a BBC series, this, uh, this Vicar of uh, Dibley. And this is uh, five, five VHS tapes, drop them here. And I have a sold comp. There was a set of four that sold for $19. So, you know, plus shipping. So I'm thinking, you know, I can get at least 20, 25 for these. It was the same place. I paid 59 cents a piece for them. So that's uh, five. I got $3 into them. I'll sell them for hopefully 25 bucks. So that's cool. There was another movie uh, set here. This was actually a pretty good deal. This, uh, th there was a lot of these BBC kind of VHS stuff, but so a lot of them didn't sell, but this particular one had great comps. 
It's a complete set. It's 13 disc. They look like they were viewed once. This whole set for me, they had this whole set listed for $1.99. And I have uh, sold comps for this that used for 30 bucks. So this, this was a good find. Then there's also a um, unabridged uh, multi-disc set of The Hobbit. And I have sold comps on this exact version for 17. It was $1.99. Whenever I could buy these, I, I you know, pull them out and make sure all the discs are there, all the CDs or DVDs are there. Look at the condition while in there, especially if they're not sealed. So uh, all these were just look pristine. Then here's kind of a cool, and I'll pull some of them out. I had this pack, it was actually, it was two packs, so they were $8 each of the Skylab. And you know, I found some NASA stuff at, uh, at a sale a couple of weeks ago. This was a completely unrelated thing. It was at a Goodwill and they had the stack of Skylab stickers. Then they had these baggies and the baggies had multiple things. And if you look, they're so cool. There's that one. There's that. I'm not sure how I'm gonna sell them yet. Uh, how I'm gonna package them. If I'll do it one big lot. Um, see, look, it, look at the, that's so minim, minimalistic, but a uh, minimalist, I guess is the word, but love it. Great design. Um, another one, Hubble. Uh, then look at this, uh, had this big, big sticker. That's like eight inches, six, seven, eight inches across. Um, and then it even had the same insignia that was on like the sticker. It had it on a pin. And then look, uh, you know, it's, uh, there's a Hubble Space Telescope pin. So like I said, I, it was two packs of two baggies, $8 each that had various collections of these um there's another one that was different the hubble space you know space shuttle hubble servicing i may put these in one big lot i may break them up into two lots um i've got 16 dollars in them i won't have any problem I, i've seen even some of the stickers bring in like five six dollars a piece i won't have any problem making good money on these but that's cool then the last thing that's kind of bizarre it's the atari okay I got this. This was at the state sale, and I got all of this for 15 bucks. They wanted 25, I offered them 15. No, it wasn't priced, and they said 25, I offered them 15. And there were three tape uh, cassettes. Here was this one called Big Five. Okay, I have sold comps on this one for 15. Then there was one here, the 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 Wizard of uh, War, and that's War spelled. I guess you would still pronounce it that way. Uh, actually, soul comps on this one is only like six or eight. But then here's this uh, uh, journey to the planets. And I have a soul comps on this one for 50. Now it says it's tested, but uh, I can't, I don't have an Atari. If you look on these, it says, you know, it's for the Atari 400, 800. I don't have any of that anymore. Back in the day, I had an Atari, I think mine was a 2600 uh, video system. but. I had to list those as untested, but with those comps, I think I'll be able to do really good on them. Then the other thing, and this is what really caught my eye, this is a, a manual, and it's bound by the only the best thing that you could use to bind something, your bread ties. <laughs> but a lot of these you see, they were three ring binders anyway back in the day, and it's this for the Atari personal computer, and it's and it's, it's two things, it's the uh, the operating system is the first and look you know it's january 1982 i think these are the these are not just photocopies these are the official publications of the time and then there's also in the back here's the the hardware and see i don't have comps on this i'm not sure what this is going to be but um i'll do some research and it's going to be awesome i know i i may you know it may be like 50 bucks it may be 10 bucks but whatever it is this combined with these three I pay $15 for all of them and I'll make I'll make good off of it but I think that this um, you know this old Atari manual I love it so um, glad, glad to get it glad to put it in my store and I think I'll make some some good profit on it so uh, that's it lots of stuff hopefully what I showed you was informative it was as promised you know some a wide variety of, of just books and then other cool stuff for your for your knowledge and info so uh, 
look forward to your comments. Again, subscribe, and thanks for the view. You guys take care. Bye.